Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more action packed minutes of bomber building action. 10 minutes at a time. Oh yeah, people, you know the routine by now. You gotta wash them big old feet in 10 minutes at a time. Okay. That's what I'm doing, everybody. I'm gonna mount up everything to this board I can. Okay, I took this fuel pump over there, I stuck it on there, and guess what, it don't fit under that little hatch, but all this will. So I'm gonna to have to mount this in that bomb bay. Which one looks so bad anyway? Them real bomb bays was kind of full of stuff, but I just didn't want too much clutter in there. But uh, got my hole started. Oh, that was too big. Doggone it, I had a whole box of screws I just bought. Long nuts, long ones like that. Can you believe? I cannot find them. These will work. Ah, a little bit too short. That's going. stash for a minute, didn't you? Okay, uh, You guys gotta do this at home too? Is this how you find your junk? It ain't in there, it ain't in there. Alright. Now I'm stick to the good junk. So remember I pulled all these screws out. stuff running in here especially where this hydraulic thing is it's weird how the solenoid thing works but I got my tank made up I'm gonna put it in the bomb bay too I'm gonna put it in the bomb bay you see this won't fit in there and the door won't shut so I've got to mount it in. I'm going to mount it like right there. Then the tank, reservoir tank, I can mount right there. That's a good spot for it. That way I can fill it up easy. This is going to be my fill. This is my drain. That's my return. So I'll be able to fill it up pretty easy. Plug on there because really, once the system is full, it uh, 
you know, it won't get them all that. Hopefully, unless we get a leak here. That'll work there. I'm going to drill the tap, put me some screws there. Not that bad a boy right there. Mount everything else to my board. And my board here, I already got this mounted to it. Now what I'll do is I'll take my switch. I'm going to have to put me some kind of nut on there. Some kind of nut on there to uh, trip that switch. Sounds to be much, just a nut and a little lock tighter on there. Bam. Right there. Thanks, Bill. I found it. Where you said it was. <laughs> Here, let's put us a washer on there. Bam. Okay. Now you see that. When this compresses, I'll put that right there. Hear that click? That's what will turn on and off my hydraulic pump. That's what will turn this pump on. I'll just splice the wires. You know, going off my battery. Instead of going two wires to the pump, I'll take one wire to the pump. One wire to one side, one wire to the other side, on, off, on, off. It's real simple, real simple. When that goes across there, when this pump is filling this up, it's going to go, and then when it hits that, it'll stop pumping. Then when I open the door, it'll start, when this valve is triggered, when this valve is triggered, this one's going to go in here, this one will go to the front, this one will go to the back, these two go to my reservoir and this that them are both uh returns this is the feel and uh shoom it'll just cycle the system one side of the pump will go to the tank one side will go right to there front and back the reservoir bam that's simple where'd you learn that right here in the shop 10 minutes at a time the hydraulic pump we're going to get this working, people, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned for some more Bob TV. Tune in tomorrow for some more action-packed bombing building episodes. Right here in the shop. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama